Welcome to this clip from my Twitch stream of where I am playing some random game. Maybe Elden Ring or Hogwarts Legacy right now. Hopefully you enjoy and um, stick around to the end. What the hell? Hey! What the? What the hell? What? What'd he do? Repair. I can't even fix the poor lad. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. I can't beat you up. Oh well. You guys. It's like you just like you beat your friend. Beat your friend up. Look for moons. I mean, what's this? Ravenia. What is this? It's, it's mine. I even thought I got nothing. Look there in this empty. There's just Griffin door and it's like keeping track of something. Oh, weird. This is like my least favorite area in this whole castle. Is these stairs? I always feel like I get lost trying to work my way around them. I don't. I actually, I do have one. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, Mr. thank Moon. you. <laughs> The fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Oh, God. Better tomorrow because I'm gonna go get a giant q tip shoved up my nose. Locked for a reason. What is it? Whoa. What do we have here? A demi guys. Another moon for Mr. Moon. Um. Now, demi guys. Yeah, I slept on the floor. Why is a, a boiler in here? That's crazy. Uh, 
God, my head. I don't know why. What is going on right now? Fuck. Like, next week's like all the bills. I can't be sick. Yeah, yeah. Safety hazard. I, oh, I am lost. Oh my god, there we go. Rebellion. What are you doing out here? Huh? Pass curfew, bub. Oh my god, I'm so, I don't even know what's going on, I'm so lost. Me and Zod. Can't even find him, Zod. What the hell is this weird ass music? Rebellion. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? What the? I don't know where this where this one is. Pavelia. Are you right? Look like you need a ghost. If only. There it is. And let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. Ugh, Slither like and girl. a muggle. <laughs> Go and look at one of them. Saw something about the Cruciatus curse. I did. Oh, shut up. You're like to have a curse that inflicts pain on people. Potato. Especially herself. Lewis. Let's go. The bat, the bat, the boathouse, not the bathhouse. Boathouse. Rebellion. I kind of wish I played this game for controllers, like I could lean back. I could probably still lean back. There we go. I can't still lean back. Where 
Where the hell am I going? Rebellion. Oh my god. Just ravioli everywhere. Bound to find something. There's something. Circle, there's a chest. This is better than what I'm wearing. You didn't do a good job cleaning, house elf. It's not even shining that probably one already solved. <coughs> yeah, here it is, okay. Revenia. the hell? Hey, no, no, no. Okay, you go, okay. You let me know. What did I stumble upon? 
little more. Revelio. Bunch of food. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Oh, there it is. Rebellion. Kitchen thing. Kitchen? This is a kitchen? Why is it hidden? Pleasant. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. Huh. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, okay. but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Ones Club. Oh. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood Remember. and yeah. disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm not sure this is a worthwhile endeavor. Do the Mert people even want to be liaised with? They seem to be open to it so far. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. Oh. <laughs> The Mer people really leave Nerida an artifact. Lumos. Incendio! Lum now then, I'll need you to come with me. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Well, oh. Okay, it's like those doors. Now for the rest of you. Doors. It's like those mirrors. What do we have in here then? A chest. Nerida will be happy about this. A mermish artifact. <laughs> Your gift from the mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. That door? I was so I worried I'd left it too long, own. and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. Let's do this real quick. I keep running past it. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. 
Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, the hell is that? attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. Here's that loser. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an Gerald. eye on his tongue. <laughs> what am I doing? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Okay. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. Uh. Wait, I put it on a spell slot? Oh. It enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Okay. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast Do I put this on the spell slot too? I do. Uh, I guess I'll use this last one. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make <coughs> our way to the pens and select another beast. Okay. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Pet. Oh, couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjukes. <laughs> uh, 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 stupid thing. The hell? Uh, uh, oh no. What in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Oh no. Tusk, tusk, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Oh, I don't get you anything. Who? Thank God. <sighs> Let's go. I'd have made Poppy hate me from the start. <laughs> Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Huskins are fond of bogeys. It's brilliant to catch someone by surprise with one. Cool. I'd love to have pet beasts at home, but with my uncle traveling all the time, there'd be no one to look after them. All right, I'm back. I was just checking out the birds. took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Are uh, you? <laughs> it appears our time has come to an end. You'd be surprised. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Hey, now, give me a sec. Where is our new student? Well, she's over here. Ah, there you are. I would like to... I can't throw a fireball. What do you want? Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson?
It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Why well, you talk to fifth Me years? I know better in first my years. Owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. All right. Psst, psst. Over here. Me? What do you want? Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I the certainly fuck? hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. No, we're not. Actually, I don't know what she's saying. Her. She don't even know what she's Someone saying. Someone I'd she's like you to meet. Out of her mind. In the forest. She didn't see a problem in that. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Stand back. These Hufflepuffs are like crazy. What's wrong with my Hufflepuffs all crazy? What the hell? Where's Hagrid? He's supposed to be the one to grab that thing. Please meet Highwing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly I did you can feed in a, a movie if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody Did you think of Highwing? All right, I guess. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And I might not be there next time. Professor Howard mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, <coughs> lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. 
I'm just not sure what. You may be reading into it. Talking to people isn't a crime. It's hard to explain, but something about it just feels wrong. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Oh, you I let wish me I could change my voice out? so oh, it's like a robot. Well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can like and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitch, where you'll get the actual stream and say just clips, you can uh, find the link in below. Also, there's shirts and Facebook and Twitter, which I don't think that's important. But if you want to follow, you can follow. If you don't want to follow, you don't have to. Thank you again. Bye.